Uh, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, I am Hamid. Uh, today we will discuss the usage of transmission media. Before studying the transmission media, we will discuss uh, the basic uh, introduction of any network because today is our first lecture. Uh, before going uh, to study uh, transmission media, we will understand the network. What is a network? Uh, network is the combination of two or more entity to transmit the data or information. Okay. To communicate any two devices, uh, we use uh, transmission media which may be guided or which may be unguided. Uh, we will understand this. Uh, suppose uh, we have, uh, you all better know, uh, to transmit uh, data, uh, that entity is called transmitter. Suppose we have a transmitter. On the other hand, there is a receiver, Rx. Okay. To communicate these two entities, we need certain type of medium. Okay. Okay. This medium may be air, which is also called unguided media, okay? Or it may be guided media in the form of twisted pair cable, okay? Or it may be fiber optics, or which may be coaxial cable, coax. Okay, these all are the type of transmission media. As the transmitter is necessary, as the receiver is necessary, beside this medium is also the important part of any communication. Today, the objective of our uh, chapter is to discuss the transmission media. Okay. I will delete this slide. Okay. No. As uh, you better know, uh, to communicate uh, any uh, two devices, we uh, arrange uh, the uh, nodes or uh, computers um, with different pattern, okay? These different patterns are so-called topologies, okay? What is the objective of this chapter? Uh, the objective of this chapter is uh, to study the constituents of a network, mean the components of any network, okay? As I already discussed, that each network is composed of transmitter, receiver, and transmission media, okay? These are the basic component of any network. Okay, second, we will identify the basic component of a network as I already discussed, transmitter, transmitter, receiver, and transmission media. Okay, and third, we will describe the primary mechanism of communication over a network. We will take start from the basic, from the beginning. As you better know, 
uh, SGIA is uh, uh, basic course uh, for any networking. It is similar like a CCNA, okay? Um, CCNA uh, is uh, a Cisco uh, component trainings, while SGIA is uh, Huawei component uh, trainings. We will take start from the basic, uh, what is simple point-to-point -point network, okay? Point-to-point -point network is that in which there, uh, there will be only two uh, entities or there will be only two component. Two component are in the form of, uh, suppose it is your transmitter TX, okay? It is your receiver okay and this is your medium okay in point simple point to point network there will be only two entities which can transfer the data between their nodes Okay, understand? Okay. Now we will study the, uh, in this uh, chapter, we will study on only the transmission media, types of transmission media and their connectors and their mode of or trans or transmission and uh, the speed of uh, transmission. Okay, and how much data they can transfer at a specific time. Okay, this is uh, the first time of uh, transmission media is coaxial cable. Okay, coaxial cable uh, is the type of guided uh, transmission media. Uh, uh, as you better know, uh, when uh, the cellular uh, industry was evolved, at that time uh, the cable uh, used between uh antennas and bts the cable used between antenna and bts was if cable uh, that if cable was uh, your twisted fair cable suppose this is your antenna okay and this is your bts base transceiver system okay at that time, in the beginning of uh, cellular technology, that cable was called coaxial cable. The exam another example of coaxial cable is uh, the cable TV cable. As you better know, in many regions uh, when uh, where still uh, the IP uh, TV was, uh, is not introduced in some region of the world, uh, there uh, is still using uh, the fiber, uh, sorry, the coaxial cable in that uh, region. The coaxial uh, cable is consist of uh, uh, two conductors. One is central conductor and other is the outermost uh, conductor. Between these two conductors are a cladding which uh, separate them with each other. Okay. Coaxial uh, cable um, in which the light travel in the form of electrical signals. Uh, this type of uh, connector, sorry, this type of uh, transmission media has uh, two types, okay? One is called thin coaxial cable and other is called thick coaxial cable. In the thin coaxial uh, cable, it is also called, it, um, it is known by its standard, 10 base 2, while the thick uh, coaxial cable is known by um, 10 base 5, okay? The thin coaxial cable can be extended up to 185 to 200 meters, mean you can transmit the data from 1 meter to 200 meter maximum. And uh, while in thick coaxial cable, you can extend it, or transmitter data up to uh, 500 meter maximum. The connector use uh, for uh, the connector used for uh, coaxial cable is BNC. 
I, I will write uh, this connector is called B N C connector. Okay. For Quaxel, uh, maybe they ask in uh, your uh, HIA exam, uh, the connector used for uh, 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 Quaxel cable is BNC uh, connector. Okay. And uh, one uh, another type of uh, connector also used in Quaxel cable is N type con connector. Okay. Two uh, connectors uh, are uh, using. Uh, one is BNC connector and other is uh, N connector. Okay. No, G will move uh, forward. The another type of connector uh, is twisted pair cable, which are widely used nowadays uh, in uh, the modern world. This uh, type of cable is consist of eight wires with different colors of cable, uh, green, green, white, blue, um, blue, white. Uh, there are a certain uh, combination of these colors, okay? Uh, these color can be arranged uh, on different way. Uh, suppose, I um, mean, uh, how you can arrange these uh, different wires, uh, as I said that, suppose if you want to, uh, if you want to communicate uh, router with router, suppose you want to connect router with router, uh, for in this case, you would use um, the cross through cable. How the cross through cable you will generate it? Okay, cross through cable. Uh, in cross through cable, mm -hmm. suppose uh, if uh, uh, here is green, okay, at the other hand, it, uh, it may be um, blue, okay mean the different combination. We, uh, we will study in our uh, future classes how you can make the ethernet connector and ethernet cables, okay? While in straight through cable, suppose if hair is green, on the other end there will be green. Okay, green connect with green, uh, blue white will be connected with blue white mean at both end you will use the same combination okay uh, the straight through cable can be used to communicate router with switch suppose if you want to communicate router with switch you will use straight through cable. mean for different component you would use straight through cable while at similar component you would use cross through cable understand the Uh, as a uh, twisted pair cable has different types, similarly, uh, sorry, as the coaxial cable has different types, uh, the ethernet cable also has different types. Okay, uh, some are uh, 10 base T, mean 10 base twisted pair cable. Okay, it is two pair. Okay, as you better know, uh, we already uh, had in our classes on our technical technical life, which are the cat three, cat four, and Cat five. Okay, this uh, type of cable uh, can be uh, extended up to hundred meters. Okay, uh, its speed is about ten Mbps. The speed of ten, ten uh, the speed of twisted pair uh, ten best two is ten Mbps. Okay. Uh, another type of twisted pair cable is uh, 100 base TX. TX mean a trans a transmitter, okay? Uh, transmitted ratio. And two pair uh, category, I mean, uh, it, it category is called CAT5, okay? Uh, it, it, it is also extended up to 100 meter, but its uh, speed is 
a greater I mean uh, through this cable you can transmit 100 mbps okay uh, another type of uh, 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 cable is uh, uh, thousand best okay it is for pair or category this category is called 5e twisted pair cable it is all it can also be extended up to 100 meter but it, it is 1 mb ps sorry uh, 1 giga it is 10 mbps it's 100 mbps and it is called uh, 1000 mbps mean 1 giga Hertz. okay I will erase. I will erase it. Okay. 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 Further. Okay, another type of cable is uh, optics fiber. As its name um, is, uh, uh, we can get idea from its name. Okay, so it's called uh, for fiber optic cable. In fiber optic cable, uh, that data transmit uh, in the form of light. Okay. Uh, it is consist of um, central core and cladding. Okay, uh, the central uh, core is consist of glass. It is made of glass. In, in this glass, the light travel in the form of light. It has various types: ten base F, uh, hundred base. FX, uh, thousand base, LX, and uh, and uh, thousand base SX. The fiber optic cable uh, can operate in various modes. Okay, one is single mode and other is multi mode. In single mode, mean the light uh, the light travel in a single ray I mean there, there will be a single ray of light okay while in multi mode they uh, may be a multi uh, rays of light okay 10 base fx is uh, simple form of optical fiber okay uh, uh, it is consist of two strand of fiber one is used for transmission and other is used for receiving it can be extended up to 100 meter it's pay uh, the data uh, speed will be uh, 10 mbps okay another form of optical fiber is 10 base uh, sorry 100 base fx okay uh, it is also a two strand mean two wires okay uh, it uh, it is multi-mode fiber it can be extended up to 2000 meter okay the another form of uh, uh, for optical fiber is uh, thousand pairs uh, LX. So okay, it is a single mode, okay, uh, or multi mode. It can operate uh, on both mode, okay. It can be extended up to uh, three hundred uh, uh, twenty to uh, five hundred meter. The fourth form of fiber optic cable is uh, thousand pairs SX. It is a multi multi mode fiber. Uh, it can be extended up to five meter, uh, five hundred. A meter, one giga uh, hertz. Uh, sorry, one giga uh, hertz. Uh, one more thing, uh, you should keep in your mind that uh, if you use the single uh, array, okay, the data can be traveled for a long distance. If you use the multi mode, then the data cannot uh, be able to uh, transmit. To a long distance okay this is the main difference between uh, uh, fiber there are various connectors used for uh, optical uh, fiber okay uh, some connectors uh, are uh, like uh, 
uh, oh, one more thing sorry uh, i have forgot uh, the connector used uh, for twisted pair cable is uh, Okay. Uh, the connector used for uh, a twisted pair cable are called RJ forty-five. Okay, but the connector used in fiber optics are the connector used for a fiber optics. is uh, which may be uh, lx uh, sorry lc uh, which may be st or which may be uh, sc okay there are three types of connector used uh, for fiber optics uh, which may be uh, lc okay which may be st which may be sc these three types of connectors are used in fiber optics uh, cable another form of uh, medium uh, is serial uh, connectors serial connect one one of the main example of serial uh, connector is our uh, console cable uh, you better know uh, console cable are so called rollover cable okay Uh, which is used to configure your switch or your uh, routers. Uh, this uh, the uh, the main uh, example of serial cable is twisted uh, sorry uh, console cable. Uh, this uh, cable was uh, using from the beginning uh, till now. Okay, it has also uh, two types. One is called RS. What is RS mean? R mean recommended, S mean standard. Recommend R mean recommended, S mean standard. Okay, uh, two three two. Okay, uh, it uh, can be uh, uh, defined or it can uh, transmit data up to uh, two M uh, M B P S. Okay, uh, uh, mean two M B. It can transmit data. Uh, Uh, up to uh, sorry twenty MB okay uh, through uh, serial at uh, force you can uh, serial cable you can transmit it up to twenty uh, Mbps uh, sorry 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 the uh, data you can transmit through It is two. Uh, it is uh, twenty thousand bit per second, but it can also be reached to uh, one Mbps. Meaning that I can be up to two uh, kbps, uh, up to one Mbps. Another form of serial cable is uh, uh, recommended standard for double two, uh, which can be hundred kbps to ten Mbps. Okay. Uh, what is signal encoding data? As we will study uh, our um, physical medium. Suppose uh, uh, the data uh, can transmit in uh, digital communication or in the form of bits or uh, lights. How how the data can be represented if Mm, that data is one. It means the signal is high. If the data is zero, it means the signal is low. As if the signal is high, and the bit will be one. Okay. Suppose it is one. It is zero. Okay. It is one. It is zero. It is one. It is zero. It is one. It is zero. is one okay uh, these bits are in the form of binary okay bit can in the form of binary okay binary is 2 to power 
okay two to power one two to power two two to power three okay mean zero mean two to power zero okay okay uh, i mean the data in computer technology can be transmitted in the form of bits okay which may be one or zeros okay in the combination combination of eight bits are further called byte okay that's why we consider data in the form of bits per second okay i mean how many bits can be travel in one second okay that's why we says bit bits per second Okay, I will erase it and move, and we will move ahead. Okay, another uh, 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 topic is um, collision domain. What is collision domain? Uh, as you better know, uh, as you better know, uh, is suppose we have uh various components okay we have various component connected in our network suppose it is a it is b it is c and it is d suppose these all uh, components are connected with each other on a single medium okay it is a single medium suppose a want to transmit the data to c at that time b want to send data to a okay when these two entities transmit the data at the same time there will be a certain point in which the data will be collided okay no one can be able to transmit the data okay this process are called collision domain okay to control this collision, okay, we use different uh, techniques like uh, carrier sense multiple uh, axis code detection and carrier sense multiple axis uh, code avoidance. Okay, how? I will draw. One technique is called carrier sense multiple axis slash code deduction okay this type of carrier sense mean the in this technique to avoid the collision suppose a will send a carrier which sends the medium okay if the medium was busy then it will not send data okay first it will sense the medium after that, if the medium was free, then A will send the data. Okay. It what uh, this technique in, is used in our fixed network. Okay. Code direction first. It will detect uh, the medium. That either medium is free or at another type of. Uh, technique is called CSMA. CA. Collision avoidance. Okay. Uh, in air, there is no physical path. Okay. Uh, in this case, suppose if A is uh, area connect, uh, air, air uh, suppose, suppose A want to transmit data to B. Okay. Uh, in this case, uh, suppose there is no physical medium between them okay uh, so how he can so how he can detect that uh, the air is free or not okay so in this case uh, they will not detect the collision but they will avoid the collision okay they will try the level best to avoid the collision this type of techniques are used in unguided media Okay. Uh, 
next topic is uh, modes of transmission. Okay. Uh, there are three types of mode of transmission. Suppose uh, one is simplex, other is uh, half duplex, and the third one is full duplex. Simp simplex is in the uh, in the form of uh, communication, one-way communication. Suppose like uh, TV transmission, like radio transmission. Okay. Uh, which is one-way communication. Suppose the radio station transmit their signal and we can receive, okay? Uh, or uh, some like uh, satellite dish TV, okay? In which we are only receiver in one-way communication. It is called simplex, okay? Another form of, uh, uh, another mode of transmission are half duplex. In half duplex example are walkie-talkie, okay? Uh, in half duplex, uh, the two entities can communicate uh, with each other and, and transmit and receive the data uh, with each other, but one uh, once and at a time. Okay, suppose if A want to transmit the data, suppose if A want wants to transmit the data towards B. Okay, first A will send the data. Okay, the B will wait. Okay, while in second, if B wants to send data toward A, okay, then A will wait. Okay, I mean they cannot uh, transmit that data simultaneously. Okay, it is called half duplex. Well, in full duplex, the both entities A and B can transmit the data at the same time. It's example, uh, same like our mobile communication in which we both can talk or transmit the data at the same time. This, this is our all our lecture. Hopefully uh, you have understand it. Okay. Uh, we will, uh, these are all, these are three questions. You should uh, answer them, okay? Ask this question from yourself that how much you uh, get from this lecture, okay? Uh, if you have any question, uh, and then you can ask uh, me this question in our group uh, for now, I say uh, goodbye.